Hello everyone, welcome to yet another episode of Huawei Women Power Talks. Today with us actually here in Poland is Daria. Daria is our Artificial Intelligence Business Growth Manager for Central and Eastern Europe. Daria, thank you so much for being with us today. How are you? Thank you for having me, Berta. It's nice to talk to you and nice to, you know, have a chat. It's even nicer to actually be able to share your views, not only with myself, uh, because actually I always say, you know, I profit a lot from it. Um, as a woman in technology, I, I, well, in my daily basis, I actually talk with lots, lots of women who are actually building this technology. Uh, in a way that I am able to say actually from facts that technology is not only made for women, technology is actually made by women and it's actually made by women like yourself. In a way, you're actually the human, so as to speak, behind the Huawei uh, browser. When you think of a typical job, you never think of, a, you know, that someone can manage browser, but it's very exciting because, you know, with the digital age, just you know the smartphone is something that we never part with you know even if we go to sleep we always have smartphone on our side um the first thing we do is that we check the news we check the weather we check on our relatives you know especially in the pandemic world it's very important to stay in touch so we do use browser on a daily basis and we don't actually realize how much we use it but this is something that is vital to our you know our everyday life so yeah i'm very excited for that and what i do at my daily job is that i make sure that the browser is used by people who have smartphones and that it's user friendly it's beneficial to the end user and it's 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 you know it's a nice experience for them my job you know despite of that not being maybe obvious but it has um, put me in the position of needed to learn a lot of technical things, you know, configurations, a lot of small things within the browser, because to you guys, at the end user, it looks just like an app, you know, you have a search bar and you just input something and it returns to you the search result. But to me, it's a lot of complex mechanisms within just the one icon on your phone. Managing the browser, uh, as, as quick as it sounds, you know, I can say just like this, managing the browser, and as you said, it's totally complex. Uh, it's not only the only thing that you do or the only field that you manage in that sense. Actually, even in your uh, job description and your job title, there is the, the keywords artificial intelligence. How do you relate to artificial intelligence as a woman working in technology? Well, it's, uh, it's, it's really complex, you know, and it's very exciting because when we think of artificial intelligence, we think of all of the, um, you know, the voice processing, all of the complex things that maybe we don't really know a lot about. We don't have the possibility to learn about them because it's pretty, you know, complex and pretty new field as well. But, you know, when it comes to even our daily life, how AI relates to browser in specific is that we want to make sure that your technology helps you, right? Mm -hmm. And in order for technology to help you, they, the, the algorithm need to be adjusted to your needs as much as possible, right? And this is where AI comes into place because they can be adjusted to your specific needs, not to what maybe someone else needs, right? Let's take example of the news feed. Let's say you are really interested in sports and you like to browse for sports update, you like to follow your favorite team. So this is where AI comes into place, right? It can learn that you like this specific type of things, and then it can suggest you more relevant experience based on your needs, right? For me, for instance, as a citizen and as a user of technology, it's highly relevant to know that there are people like yourself, uh, women like yourself, behind artificial intelligence as well. As time passes by, we want artificial intelligence to be increasingly human, if you see what I mean. Well, you know, there is this myth and, you know, when people think of um, AI, they think of matrix, you know, robots taking over our life, not us having control, but AI is just a tool like everything else you're using in your daily life. So AI is here to learn from you, to help you, but it will never do it on it, its own, right? It needs to be taught by human first, then for it to serve human back, right? So there is ne there needs to be a human behind the technology guiding it, developing it, you know, and making sure that it's, it fits the purpose. So, of course, AI on its own will never, you know, be just, you know, kind of like a separate element. There is always human 
needed to be behind the AI in, in order to develop it and adjust to what is happening around you. I wanted to address with you the topic of, of diversity. Diversity not only, uh, well, let's say, um, in the workplace or so on, but actually um, diversity in the digital era. The first thing is that, as you said, behind every technology is there a human, so we need to remember that there needs to be a fine mix between female and male teams, female and male co-workers that can bring different parts of their expertise to the table, right? When we think of the technical field, we always think of like, you know, someone who codes, someone who writes complex algorithms, and maybe naturally we think of a male person or colleague, but we need to realize that, um, you know, women are as gifted, as talented and as capable as their male counterparts. and. We need to make sure that more women has access to this kind of jobs and they has you know they have access to improving this technology as well. If we even from the little, you know, starting from what we teach uh, you know students at university, what kind of you know education we provide, what kind of scholarships we provide, what kind of work possibilities we provide, both to girls and boys, will you know, allow us to have a better diversity, better services and better technology in the future. The more women we have in the tech workforce, the more diverse our technology uh, will be. And that's a fantastic um, idea to keep in mind as well for the recruitment processes and for, as I said at the beginning, inspire the next generation of women uh, to join the tech sector. Thank you, Daria. Thank you, Berta, for having me. It has been a great pleasure. And for our viewers, please stay tuned and uh, to our next Huawei Women Power Talks episode and see you soon.